Before this video starts, I just wanted to have a viewer discretion. Uh, this video will be talk about an alleged sexual assault. Um, so obviously if you're not comfortable with sexual assault, um, please do not watch this video. Please click off right now. Uh, if you are interested in what this, of what these allegations are, continue watching this video. And I hope you enjoy it. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video now today. This video is going to be very serious, very action-packed because he's, I'm going to be talking about the allegations relating to Claudia, who is a Valorant Game Changers player who plays for Complexity. Um, these are obviously very serious allegations and obviously we have to wait until Riot actually provides an update and announces a competitive ruling to see if it's actually true and what will happen to Claudia. So. Where did this all start? This all started with a Twitter account named Lolly. I still don't know how you say her name, so I completely so I apologize if I mispronounce her name. But basically, she made a tweet longer involving Claudia, and this is what it says. Basically, um, a TODR um, on May 25th, um, they were all at Miami, you know, just partying, having fun, playing games, and everything. Uh, but then. I think it was like in like the bedroom, it was Claudia, I think her boyfriend or maybe uh, per, uh, someone who Claudia was close with and Lolly herself. Um, so, so it all started with, they were talking about relationships and uh, Claudia, but then here, Claudia asked, uh, quote, Claudia began asking me questions about, about my virginity um, and if I had done or was planning to do anything with this guy I was speaking to. I told her no, and she would tell me that it's better to lose it to a stranger than someone I was in love with, which is a very weird, which she then raised a question and asked me to have a threesome. She did, uh, she declined, well, and then she declined because obviously she wasn't, she wasn't very comfortable with it, which is completely all right. Um, and then on the night, and then actually on the, on, on the night, May 25th, um, she, she drank a little too much, um, barely really walked straight, everything was blurry. And either, and it, it, this is also according to her, either she, um, Claudia let her into into the room or she was already laying on the room half asleep. Um, but obviously, all of a sudden she felt um, her underwear actually being, being pulled off. And it's too late for her to respond to that. And um, she did say stop multiple times, but the guy just responded. Uh, saying, um, well, by first putting her head down into the pillow and, and told her to take it, Claudia was sitting beside her watching everything happen and didn't stop him once, nor did she stop, nor, nor did she say anything. So she was just watching what was happening. Afterwards, and then, and then afterwards, she got a weird attachment, which basically meant a trauma bonding, which basically, which basically means if you, if, uh, two people do something to you with trauma, you kind of feel like you need to be near them. Um, that's like how you know people are, um, and obviously she didn't want to believe it because if I discussed it, they use it against her when when they were acting that way. And she also messaged um, her roommate about a pregnancy test five days later after when after um, after it all happened. She also said, "Quote, then claimed I was, uh, and then claimed I'd, I'd use it to trap the man who did this along with her." And then she said, uh, at the very end, "I hate that she took advantage of me when I told her no before. It, ever since I felt so so disgusting, I've lost sleep and, f and feel like I can't eat since it happened. I even tried speaking with her for closure after what had happened. She just ignored me. Um, for the imager, yes, imager, yes." Um, it's just a text message between Claudia and her roommate, um, which is, which her name is Athena, which we find out. Um, basically saying here, when you get home and things calm down, are you able to ask Laura to take a pregnancy test or even her brother? Uh, just to be, uh, or, or, sorry, or, or even her, or even your brother. So, I guess the guy is Athena's brother? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Uh, do you think if she was pregnant, she'll keep it to trap blank, which is I think is Athena's brother. Uh, then, then she says that they both hate her. Yes, but your brother would want her to take one too. He would not. He would not let her her keep a baby. No job, no house, no nothing. Yeah, yeah you're correct. 
he might be mad at you right now, but if he cared about her, he would not let her keep a baby, and then she would handle it. And then on Monday, and the Monday, Athena asks, "You want me to ask like right now?" Um, and then she says, "You know what we did, right? Uh, I don't know. Did you not tell him? I'm pretty sure I did, but I don't know. I was pretty wasted." And then just be safe, blah blah blah. blah. They then, I, then they would talk about all oh, they never used protection. Well, they never did. They never used protection, and all this other stuff. So. I will leave a link to this and a tweet longer down in the description. Now, I think a couple hours later, Claudia herself um, re released a, her own statement, being a tweet longer as well. This is a lot more lengthy, so I'm going to try and cut it up if I can. Um, but basically, it goes back over. It actually explains um, why Laurie and Athena were in the group. Just because there were actually last minute invites to Miami, which was pretty weird. Uh, it, it, it doesn't mean anything, but I mean, at least we know like how they got there eventually, or how they got in the first place. And then we get, and then we cut straight back into it under the second paragraph. Uh, one night, the guy and I go going to the bedroom to go to go lay down and relax. Everyone else is drinking, um, and then Lori follows them into the room. Perfectly fine, man. Later, uh, sits. Um, she sits down to talk to us, and then and, and the topic of relationships comes up since she was talking to a guy, and we were asking her how it was going. Talk about kings came up. I don't know why she was talking about kings, but um, but apparently Lolly is uh, she's into CNC, and and she, uh, apparently she wants a knife to be held to her throat, which is something they went into. Don't know why you would even mention this. It, it doesn't really. It, it, it doesn't, okay, whatever. Either way, um, she wasn't stumbling her words or showing any signs of her drinking. Um, she, asked, she asked Laurie if she wants to join us sometime, she be, and she giggled and said, maybe. Join us sometimes, you probably know what that means. I'm never going to go, I'm never going to talk about that one, but you probably, you can use your, your own imagination what that means. Um, we continue talking about our relationship still and how we're comfortable with each other and, and her. I asked her later and she said yes. I got up onto the bed and, and took her own pants off. Uh, and, and then she and then the third paragraph, she basically talks about that she has trauma of sexual assault, and she's actually been and she also got taken pictures of the um and um at the ages of nine to twelve, and she's also gone to therapy. She blocked the person, blah 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 blah. And then she and then she said, "Why would I ever put that on someone that I, that I took care of and talked to like a sister?" And then we get back onto onto the situation. She said, "In bed, I played with her care. I, I I played with her care and made sure she was comfortable the entire time. That was a code word that they used to um for someone to stop. She asked her twice, and she didn't, and she, and she didn't want to stop. She wanted to keep going. Uh, they shouted together afterwards, and she was excited and and giddy, saying, "I lost my virginity now. I could do it with blank, which obviously, for various reasons, not going to say the name." Next morning, she bragged it to all to to all the uh. Uh, to everyone in the group and her roommate messages her uh, well messages Claudia saying not to tell people because she didn't want Blake to find out which she agreed to um, and then and then she got actually upset because um, Lorley uh, just uh, proceeds to cuddle the guy in front of her but I, 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 I don't know if they were dating that I think they're probably actually like really, really close though uh, which probably makes more sense. Um, and then she said, then, and then when after Claudia confronted her, she said, uh, I'm sorry, I would never do that. I, I would never do anything to hurt you. I love you. You're my best friend. Obviously, she forgave her, which completely um, makes sense. And then, um, and then the fourth paragraph here, I was, I was trying to highlight my mouse everywhere so you can see, you know, where I'm up to. Uh, she went, so Claudia went home early. Then everyone else at night. Then she got a FaceTime call from her, from the people, and they're saying Lolly is big is begging him to date her, and uh, she would do anything to to be with him. He declined. She got very upset, and she walked out of the apartment in the night. They all sat in one room, worried she might do something, and everyone was stressed, including her roommate, um, who was angry with Lolly. And then we continue, and then that's just about the pregnancy um, message. 
uh, and she explained it was just her just being safe. Um, and then Athena, her roommate, so this is now what, I think this is now the, what is it now? I think this is out of the fifth paragraph, sixth paragraph. Basically, it is the third paragraph below. Um, Athena threatened to hit the guy with a car, because this came out of nowhere. Uh, threatened to hit the guy with a car uh, if she ever saw him again. And then she also got numerous messages and calls from them saying the police would be contacted. And a guy calls me saying he's standing from a neutral standpoint. And he's just a bystander, but then proceeds to text saying he, this is a law firm. Um, they said they want to talk about a lawyer. Said uh, uh, about a lawyer. Said if they want to talk, they, they and they should talk to him, but they never did. Um, which and then and then uh, but Claudia didn't feel comfortable talking to them any, anyway after they threatened someone that she was close with him uh, with, with uh, that she was close with hitting them with a car. And then uh, she goes to explain I would never hurt someone I cared about and made amends with while she was flirting with my guy trying to get him to break up with me. I wanted her to be happy and safe and felt like I was closest to her at the time. Um, and then and then she starts talking about um, the Dropbox that um, basically has the text messages and the uh, and um, ther and some therapist stuff as well. So if we have a look at the Dropbox, this message is about the law firm, and if in this paragraph right here where the, where it says um, he's just a bystander, but then proceeds to text saying this is a law firm. Um, which is interesting. And then this one, this is um, her confronting Lolly for flirting, basically saying, stop that, <laughs> it's my guy. Um, and then she did later apologize for it. Um, and then Lolly starts and then Lolly flirting with um, Claudia's guy messages after she left. Uh, I don't know, I, I think this is, uh, yes, I, I think this is actually Claudia. I, I'm pretty sure talking to to um Lolly, but I'm not too sure. And then it's her slapping, well, l l her slap or oh, slapping. I don't know what the hell that means. Um. So, oh yeah, here we were playing a drinking game, and Lolly just slapped me in the face out of nowhere, and I can be and I can barely hear out of my left ear. So this is so I think this is the so I think this is Claudia's guy. I'm pretty sure, or like the guy that Claudia was was, was like really close to, or probably is still really close to. Um, so Lola apparently slapped him, which is interesting. And this is all, and this is like, like, like some private tweets from, uh, well, from all these private Twitter posts or t Twitter account, basically saying that, uh, like the King CNC and that, and this for some reason, I don't know why that's there. Um, and there's just all like, like basically CNC is just, isn't it like body limbs or something? I'm not too sure. And then she said, "Need someone to uh, need someone to be obsessed with me," and then and then I think this is when she left the hotel. She says, "I'm about to walk alone in Miami. If I get kidnapped, that's kind of creepy." This is her story on Twitter. So I think this is about her previous one. I'm not too sure. This basically says, "I'm sorry. I meant to put a TW and blurt out some super disgusting things. I never talked about my story as I as it was cruel." To have my innocence taken away from me, but just wanted to say it's never the victim's fault and I did nothing wrong. I'm happier now and I've learned to trust. So I don't know if this is about um, this situation or this is about another situation. I have no to I'm not too sure. Maybe it's just about uh, her previous allegate. Well, not previous allegations. Her previous sexual assault that she, that she was a part of. I think this might have been about this one. I'm not too sure. Uh, this one right here. And, and this is about a therapist. So this is basically saying, um, so, so this is confirming that she has, um, that she has gotten sexually assaulted, uh, between the ages of 8 to 12, which is freaking weird. I don't know how. And it says, in, and, it, and endorses guilt related to her grandmother's diagnosis, the use of antidepressants. Uh, another one right here is another therapist message or something related to therapy. Um... I don't really want to um, read that. And then this is another one. I think this is about her um, antibiotic. Well, well, I think it's like her medications, I'm pretty sure. I, I, 
I think it's about her medication as well. It did mention CBC, which I think, uh, which I think she also mentions. Um, where? Uh, oh wait, this is BC. Whatever. I think I'm pretty sure this is about medications. I'm pretty sure that's why I'm reading this right now. But yeah, this is it's definitely this is a very out there uh, allegations from Lolly to Claudia, who is actually who is um obviously a pro player. So obviously we need to wait until until Wright actually announces what's going to happen to Claudia. But that is basically my best job to actually um, explain what is happening in this. Uh, if I didn't really explain it that well, I apologize. I will leave link to all these down in the description so you can read it for yourself and you can also make your own judgment and conclusion because of it. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.